Well, old habits die hard, but if you don't stop using lead in your fishing arsenal, the wildlife, well, they'll die harder. Ray and Mandy have more on finding safer alternatives in this week's fishing tip. One of the things we'd like to talk about tonight is the importance of trying to move away from lead in all of our fishing equipment. Uh, I'd like to also throw in the fact that if you're using plastic, which a lot of us are starting to use it more and more all the time, it's really important that when you see that plastic worm or plastic, whatever material it is that you're using, when you see that starting to deteriorate a little bit, take it off and throw it away in your boat. Don't throw it away in the lake. Most of us have lived most of our lives fishing with lead. Lead sinkers, lead split shot, uh, people, everything from catfishing to walleye fishing, it, we're all using lead. And we know that loons eat lead and other things eat lead and it poisons them and it can kill them. So there's a real effort to try to start moving away from lead to other products. But as Mandy's going to talk a little bit about, that's not as easy as it sounds. As Ray was saying, obviously there is some products on the market available right now that are alternatives to use with lead. It's a lot easier on the bass side so far that I've seen that on the walleye side. Um, tungsten, tungsten for instance is a great uh, swap out for leads. You can get them in bullets. The interesting fact is this tiny little tungsten weight actually weighs more than this giant lead weight does. So there are some advantages with packing overall, um, but it is kind of difficult. This one is a titanium weight that is also an alternative from lead. It's been extremely daunting on the walleye side to find many alternatives uh, such as the tungsten or titanium uh, weights. In conclusion, I think it's fair to say then it's important to try to move away from lead products, but it's also a challenge right now to find some products that are replacing them, but it's worth all of our efforts to start looking. For Lakeland News, I'm Ray Gildow with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bass and Biologist. Yeah, and as Ray was saying, you know, it, it's easy to fall back on that habit, just right. keep, keep using those lead, but it's very important for the environment. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. it's a big, a big effort nowadays, and it's important to do. Yeah, it looks like at least a few options out there. Yep, to yep, and them. more and more as, uh, as the days go on. Sure. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.